and then I might have made a really good decision or a really bad decision. I bought, I bought 16 of these do-it-yourself books. Hi there, Michelle here, and in today's video is a vlog of my week. I hope the week is interesting enough for me to vlog it. Today I have the day off and what I'm going to be doing is a lot of little things that I probably should have done over the last other two days that I was off. But I was so busy working on that flipping pumpkin sweater. It's done. That video should be out. And I would have been wearing it today. I would have 100% would have been wearing it today. I was looking forward to wearing it today. Unfortunately, the weather has other plans. It's it's uh, it's raining. Well, it's not raining right now, but it was raining and it's going to continue to rain all day. But also I have to go to my storage unit and bring all the clothes that I'm not wearing, like all my summery clothes that I just haven't thrown, which I probably should have, and look for a Halloween sweater and a Halloween vest that I know I have, that I know I love, but I have not been able to find for the last two months. And I did go there a week or two ago looking for them, and I didn't find them. And I'm like, oh, they must be in my house. So then I went through all the bags of like clothing and stuff that I wasn't wearing at the time. I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna bring these, kind of organize my storage unit like ever so slightly. And because of that, I can't be wearing a crocheted item that is one, gonna be too hot, but two, I don't want to ruin by accidentally getting it caught on something. And then I think I'm going to go and go to Value Village, even though I don't need to go to Value Village. It's more of I know what I want to be for Halloween. I'm not going to say yet because I have to make it. And I don't want to like get anyone's hopes up if I don't end up making it because I can't find what I need. Thing is that this idea wasn't like planned. Like I wasn't thinking about this all year. And then the other day I'm like, huh, that'd be a good costume because I have short hair now. So it's something with like short hair involved. That's what I'm doing today. And then when I get home, of course, I'm going to have to be start editing that uh, the pumpkin video. It's so funny. This is this is the thing about being a YouTuber who crochets content for their YouTube channel is that yes, the project could be done. But the project isn't done until the video is out because that's a whole other project that I have to do and the reason why I made the project in the first place. Let's go to my storage unit before it starts really raining. Then I'll probably get my ice cap and then uh, Value Village, I think. Maybe I'll stop at Goodwill. I'm really looking for some Halloween-like clothes. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, come on, you. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do first is I'm going to have to take this out and see what's behind there. All right, so I did a little bit of rearranging up there. This is all the coats that I have to go back in there, but look, I looked in this bag the other day because it has this window, so I looked through the window and I didn't go in the bag. There it is. There's the two items that I was looking for, plus this Levi's coat that I completely forgot I had. It's kind of similar to the one I'm wearing, but it's a little different because it has like a kind of like a quilted inside. It kind of looks the same, but I did make a little bit of progress where I was able to put my clothes on the bottom of that. So there's a little bit more room for that. Uh, these coats, I don't know if I'm gonna even wear this season. Maybe that one, that one, this one for sure, because it's the one that I lost last year and I couldn't find. So I'm done here. I got what I needed. Um, yeah. So something that I do like looking for at thrift stores is their crocheted items. This one was so close of coming home with me, but I did leave it. This lamp was so cool. I don't have any room for lamps. This place actually does have a lot of great furniture pieces. I found my green chair here. I found one of my dressers here. This plant stand was also super cute. It was $10, so I did leave it. I have the exact same typewriter, but this one was, has seen better days. Then I went over to Value Village, of course. I am working on a project where I am going to need some fabric, so I wanted to see what I could find here. There was this really cute floral fabric. It just wasn't something that... I was looking for and then of course this this sheet how many times do i gotta find this sheet in thrift stores this is like what the fourth time i've seen this i only mentioned this because i do have a video where i made a dress out of the same fabric i did find this purple material but unfortunately i just felt that there wasn't going to be enough material for the project that i needed it was only eight dollars so that was really great for fabric like for pricing of fabric but i didn't buy it it is now Wednesday. Yesterday, I just spent the entire day editing a video. It was this video here. It was this green 
spooky jack-o'-lantern sweater which I think turned out really really well I was just editing the heck out of this video so then that video could come out today so this video is out if you're interested in how I made it not a tutorial but uh, the process of me making it I just want to show you what I did pick up at the storage unit the other day I was gonna film that all Monday when I did it but then when I got home I, I was just exhausted and then it was really dark and then yesterday oh my goodness it just rained yesterday it was windy it was dark out so I didn't get any filming done yesterday but I did want to show you what I did go to the storage unit for to begin with first off it was because I was looking for these two fall Halloween sweaters but then I also found a jacket that I had remember I owned a few days prior and was wondering where it was this jacket here I thrifted this oh my goodness when did I thrift this like 2008 Teen. It is Levi's. It's literally the only Levi's jacket that I own and it's very similar to the other jacket that I have. I never wore because I always thought it was like way too oversized. I kind of just grew into the fact that I like wearing oversized things now. This is no bigger than the actual jacket that I wear. It is heavier because the inside is this nice like quilted. I do like oversized jackets. Like when I buy jackets, I like to get them just a little, just a little bit bigger because when I wear jackets, it's colder out. And when it's cold out, I love wearing sweaters. I love wearing chunky sweaters. So in order to wear a chunky sweater, I kind of need to wear a bigger jacket. And then I also picked up this. So this was also in my storage unit. Look how cute it is. A few little things here on the back. They kind of look like snowflakes, so I don't understand. I guess it's supposed to be a, a starry night. Uh, that I'm just putting together right now. I'm just realizing that this is like a starry night, the stars and then the moon. I've owned this for like five years and I just realized that now. I'm just like, oh, it's a black sweater with pumpkins and a scarecrow, but no, it's a night scene. And then the main reason why I went there is because of this sweater. Look at how cute this sweater is. I thrifted this again years ago. I remember the Goodwill I bought it. It was the one in Port Culver where I where I usually find all the best things. And then on the back has this little pumpkin patch. I was gonna be really bummed out if I couldn't find it before November. So those are the things that I did find from my storage unit. And then I kind of cleaned up my storage unit, which was great. Now, here's the thing. I am going to unbox something. This is what I'm gonna unbox. I don't normally do unboxings. I don't think I've ever done an unboxing on my channel because I don't buy things to unbox. It's everything is thrifted. Nothing's new, nothing comes in a nice new box. Well, I decided to buy a new tripod. That's what's in here. Let me tell you my tripod issues. One, I got a tripod when I got my first camera back in 2013, 2014. When I bought this one camera, it's not the one I use, it was a Canon one, but something funky happened with the lens, so I need to fix that, I haven't yet. It came with zoom lens, and then it also came with a tripod, and the tripod was good for a while. Actually, it was great for a really long time until I think it was last fall, I tripped over it and I snapped the leg off. And then I could kind of work with it, and then my friend Heather, she ended up giving me her tripod, coincidentally, it's the exact same tripod. It was the exact same tripod as the one that I had and she said she'd like never used it. It came with her camera so I'm guessing it was probably like you know the same kind of bundle. I got it at mine at Best Buy at the time and that was great for a little bit and then that one also fell apart. The other day I did do a TikTok about what I actually use when I'm filming and it's literally below the basic line like what I'm using people probably fish out of trash out of dumpsters to get. That's what I'm using. Like literally my tripod, the one little leg keeps falling up and down. The one leg is just snapped off. My ring light, just show you that, it's this. There's a bunch of washi tape on here because when I have to diffuse the light for, uh, usually when I'm like doing my uh, crocheting videos, I'll put a piece of paper up here and then tape it with washi tape. It's tiny. This thing is tiny. And not only that, this little thing that controls the brightness, the little cord here came loose. You probably would have had this problem if you grew up in the early 2000s and you wore headphones a lot. This was my problem. Sometimes it doesn't even want to turn on. That'll be the next big purchase I buy. But for now, let's open up my new tripod, which I am super excited about because I have not bought anything new for my channel. I think ever. I think everything that I have, I had before I started my channel. Anywho, let me go get a, a knife. My tripod. Look how pretty this is. Oh, this one, it's sturdy. I also feel kind of bad filming an unboxing of my tripod while my current tripod is like watching me do this. You had a good run tripod, but I needed an upgrade. This is my tripod. Okay, look at first off, all the legs are off. This one is completely snapped off right there. Yeah, so like this is 
the hodgepodge mess of the tripod that I currently have. It's so fancy. On this tripod, it actually does come with this, which I can put my camera on, and I already have one on a little tiny tripod, but I keep that in my car, and it was always kind of annoying if I needed it in here. I got one for the house now. The main reason why I bought this tripod is this. This comes out. One, this becomes a cane. It's a, actually a monopod, but it looks like a cane. This goes in, and then I put my camera on here. I can film down tutorial videos. The way that I was doing tutorial videos before is I'd have my camera here, and then I'd have it slanted like this so I could face it down, and then it would like be sitting kind of on my bed for like leverage so the camera wouldn't fall down on what I was filming. But now I have this so I can shoot downwards. I was looking online, and there was some tripods that were say $30 and then this part a lot of them were 30 to $50 and I'm like well if I'm gonna buy both of them I might as well buy one that has the attachment already on it and then it also came with this guy so now I have this on here which means that I can attach this to it and then I can also have like two shots so I can have a shot facing down and then I can have a shot facing me. It's a game changer, okay? This this is a game changer. So I need to play around with that, figure it out. I do have a tutorial video that I want to work on soon. That's why I wanted to get that. I'm really excited about this tripod. So it is Friday. I just got home from work. It is around two o'clock right now. Surprisingly warm out. Not only that, it's just a little too warm to wear my pumpkin sweater, which is unfortunate. But anywho, I might wear it tomorrow. I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow. Anyways, back on track. Me and my sister are actually gonna go out today. We're gonna go to uh, like a fabric store. We're also going to Michael's because I started a new project. And you might be like, didn't you just finish a project? Yeah, and I can't be stopped. Apparently, I don't know how to relax. It's it's just not me. To be fair, I really just like watching TV at night and crocheting. I like doing something. And if I'm not doing something, then sometimes I end up like on my phone and then I don't pay attention to the show. So that's why I just keep go doing projects. So I need yarn for that. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So let's, uh, Let's just get on with with the shopping, I guess. So we went to our first thrift store. I thought that plate was really cute, really decorative. I love looking at all their home and like crafting things. Then I came across this. This was there. I, I was shocked to see more of it because this is where I found the original books. And then I find this, which I'm pretty sure I didn't see the first time I went. I feel bad for this coat because someone left their brooch on it, whoever donated it. Then we went to our second thrift store. This couch was oh, glorious, but I don't need a, a couch. There's two lost boys that need a home. This music box didn't stop playing for like a good two minutes while we were wandering around the store. What is Then we headed to Lens Mills, the fabric store. I'm looking for a very certain type of color and materials. Because the color I am looking for, it's popular, but it's not too popular. Uh, it's it's purple. I'm looking for something that's purple. And then I did find this really nice felt material that was the right price and it had the right color. So I'm really glad that I found that today because if not, I, I would have been doomed. I would have not known what to do. Then we headed over to Michael's where I was looking for the yarn for my upcoming project, which I think is going quite well. I've already started it, but I needed more yarn for it because I just didn't own the colors. Yeah, there was, there was the exact colors that I needed. And then we went to Valley Village. This was the last stop for the day. Looking around the sheet section, as I normally do, always on the hunt for good fabrics, like always. And then they actually did have a section just for Halloween spooky fall tops. I saw this one, it was cute, but it was H&M and I really wish that there was arms. Like if there was skeleton arms on this shirt, I would have bought it. And then I saw this shirt here and I just didn't like the font. I didn't like the font. Then I found this clock. Countdown to the 2000s. Does anyone remember that whole thing that happened? Didn't know if it worked. So I did leave it even though that mushroom was really adorable. 
I've always wanted a set of these and I don't know what the price was. I don't know if it was $8 or if it was $24. So I did leave it because I don't need it, but eventually when I get my own house, I would love to have a set of these. And then I saw this, I already have one. Mine is a lighter wood, but I've always wanted a darker wood one, but it had these weird brackets on it. So I did leave it because I didn't need two of them. I guess it's the part of the video where I kind of show what I got from yesterday. Not really a full true thrift haul because I wasn't really, wasn't really planning on going thrifting, but I did find a few things and then I'll kind of show you what else I found on our little expedition yesterday. I bought this fabric. And that is all you're gonna see of it until my next project. So that was the whole reason we went to Lens Mills. My sister did pick up this spooky little fabric here and I'm gonna be making her a straw bag. What I mean by a straw bag. <laughs> she's like, I want you to make me a straw bag. And I was just like, a bag made out of, out of straw? I couldn't comprehend it until she's like, the one you have. And I'm like, oh, this one. So this one here is just where I keep like all my plastic straws and I always use it and she wants one. So she picked up some spooky fabric for that. Did go to Michael's because I was looking for some brown colors for a future project that I am working on that I will go more into detail in that project. But I thought I would just show you, you know, some of the colors. The first thrift store I found this here. At first I thought it was like a snowman and I'm like, oh, like a winter sweater, which I, I do want a few and I would have bought regardless. It's a little pumpkin patch, but it says pumpkin patch and there's these little black birds all over it. And sorry, it looks like there's a, it just, it was in my bag with my other fabric, so it has a bunch of lint on it. It's that type of material that like every fiber clings to it, so it just looks a little more dirtier than it actually is. It's not. If you know me, I work a lot with yarn and fabrics, and so fuzz and fibers are everywhere in my room. No matter how hard I clean, they're everywhere. No brand, but it was $5. If it's spooky, something to do with the fall or Halloween, I will I will buy it. Also at that store, uh, there, was, there was the most beautiful coat that I've ever seen in my life. I didn't film it because because I tried it on and I was just so heartbroken and devastated that it didn't fit me. It was too small, but I put my arm in it and I'm just like, it's not gonna fit. It was black suede. It was like a midi coat from like the 60s, 70s. The lining on the inside was gorgeous and it was $10. The coat of my dreams and the price of my dreams. If this coat had fit me and it was $30, I would have bought it. Went back to like film it so I could have shown y'all there was some other people looking in that same area. So I just kind of felt awkward and didn't didn't pick it up. Also, I didn't want to look at it again because it was just heartbreaking. But then I did find something else at that store. Found this book and what is this? What is this? I've never seen these books in my life and now I find this everywhere. Don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these books. I think this book was a dollar because I ended up spending seven dollars at that store. The sweater was five dollars. My sister wanted this cute little pumpkin plate, which was a dollar, and I paid for it. This must have been a dollar. Oh, okay, okay. It's just a bunch of different parts. So these are like actually in 75 weekly parts. I have no idea what these are because they're not full books. This is one magazine right here. I'm sorry, what the heck is this? I am very intrigued to make whatever this is. I'm very interested in collecting all these books and anything that has to relate to it. And then we did end up going to a value village. I bought one curtain for like the front of our house, but then I also saw some fabric. I found this fabric. When I say fabric, I mean bed sheet. I bought this bed sheet here. Like, look at how beautiful this. This is so nice. I really like the colors. I would like to make a dress eventually. I just don't really know what my dress style is right now. I think I am moving away from like the puffy sleeves and the three tiers. Also, I'm not really into wearing dresses, but I thought that this was great. Also, it was only three dollars. So I'm like, if I don't use it as a dress, I can also just use it as like a bed sheet. I am that kind of person who doesn't like to separate things that have obviously been together its whole life, even though it's material. I, I just feel bad. So I bought the matching pillowcases that went with it. It was six dollars for both of them. I wish it was like a little bit cheaper. I mean they're pillowcases. They should be cheaper than the actual fabric itself. I actually do like buying vintage pillowcases to use as pillowcases because I love a cool bedding. I honestly don't care if anything matches on my bed. I don't need like a full set of anything. And then I might have made a really good decision or a really bad decision. I ended up buying a set of books and you'd be like, a set of books? That's not, that's not bad. Like what's wrong with that? Okay, I bought these. I bought, I bought 16 of these do-it-yourself books. 
This would be a good thumbnail. Just stay still, Michelle. Okay, I oh got They were a dollar each, so it was only $16 for the lot of them. So it wasn't bad. There was one that caught my eye. I was originally just gonna buy the one, and I'm like, well, I don't really wanna separate it from its friends. <laughs> I know, I'm, uh, yeah. Uh. Then looked at another one, I'm like, oh, this one's cool too. And then I kinda just looked at the whole set, and I'm like, well, they're all here, and they're only a dollar each. This is the book. Look at that. I want this wood paneling and I want this shelf. Like, look how cool this basement is. I want this. It's so cool just to kind of see how someone would repair or build or home decor, home decor, decorate their house. Also, like, it did kind of break it a little bit. I don't think these books were ever opened because the glue is like coming off of them. This is what makes these books super cool. They show you the closet, like how you can store your stuff. But then, I don't think I can get it, it's a little bit too bright. They give you all the dimensions of every single piece of lumber that goes into here and how you can build it yourself. They give you the directions on how to build this. It's not like, hey, you could have this in your wardrobe, go out and buy it like nowadays. No, it's like, well, you could have this. So here's everything you need in order to make it. Maybe I get better at like woodworking because it's something that I do want to attempt. And my dad has all the tools in the garage. So it's not like I have to go out and buy anything. He literally has all the tools that I could even possibly need need plus more that I don't think I would ever use. There's one that I really want to show you because I really want to make it. Like I want this. That's what I want eventually in a house that I will eventually buy when I'm 80 years old. That is when I will be able to afford a house on my own. This cabinet right here, they tell you how to build this cabinet. They give you all the dimensions and then they tell you how to make it. And like this is it. Yes, I know. I probably could go on the internet and find what I need to find. It's amazing. So once I am more confident in my woodworking skills, such as once I start doing woodworking things, I would absolutely love to start going through these books and making videos of me building things. Unfortunately, I don't really have the space for anything at the moment, but eventually. I think that's pretty much it. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, crafting, thrifting, and crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, which is both Fancy Dyes or Tea Party. I think that is it. So y'all have a good day now.